Okay, so I'm going to talk about some things when it comes to when you're trying to have your little side hustle. In my case, I like to crochet and I make dolls and I try to sell them and everything. So one day I had went downstairs. It was like close to evening because it's too hot to do it in the middle of the day. I took all of my stuffed animals or most of them that I could lug down that I actually made and crocheted downstairs to the outside of my apartment complex to take a picture of them all spread out because as you can see in this picture here, doing so in my house would have been a bit of a cluttered mess and not very good for photography purposes. So these are the pictures that I ended up getting, which I think is an improvement. Edit me in here. Just wanna say that I don't think that there's any issue with any gentlemen, dudes, going up to a lady they find attractive and trying to get their number to try to um, get to know them. I think that's super brave, especially in a day and age or just forever where rejection is super real. And I myself think rejection sucks and I give you any dude props from approaching someone they find attractive because that takes guts, mad respect. Before I go downstairs to take pictures of my dolls, I just throw on a dress that's appropriate for hot weather. It's just a basic summer dress. And I position my photos oh my. right in front of an air vent oh that my. I just didn't really know was there. So I'm taking these pictures and struggling to keep my modesty alive because of course we all know Senpai will never notice me or marry me if my modesty is taken. So I'm just taking these pictures and struggling to keep my modesty. There's a gentleman farther down the side of the apartment complex and basically what happened um i'm taking pictures of my dolls and he comes up and approaches me after a little while so he asked me about my dolls and everything and i tell him like yeah i made them um he asked me if i made them i said yes and he's like wow you made all of those you're super talented and i just say thank you and everything he asked me if i'm selling them i'm like some of them are for sale yes and he pre I proceed to just interact with them and for the state of for the purpose of this like you know story we're gonna call him Joe so Joe proceeds to tell me that he has a niece that he would love to buy one of these dolls and she would love them and I'm thinking oh that would be amazing I would love that um and I proceed to give him my business phone number and tell him like hey this is a number you can reach me at and everything and at this point, I'm positioned, like, on the ground, and there's, like, a little, like, ledge-like thing. So he's standing, like, kind of up, not above me, like, towering, but, like, a little bit higher than me. And I'm just talking to him, and he is just saying, like, yeah, I would love to buy this doll and everything, or buy one of them for my niece. He makes a comment about, like, oh, this is a nice view. So my dress has, like, um, it's like a boat neck, and my boobs are kind of just there <laughs> I am a little bit about myself I'm just somebody who will just go and be very one track minded so I don't really think like I will literally take these photos and forget that I even have boobs so away, girl. I just laugh it off and say <laughs> thank you like um own that like you know it's like okay you're um if you're attractive attracted to my fat 300 pound ass self I don't know I mean I think I'm gross but okay so he proceeds to say, um, make those comments. I just say thank you and own it. And I'm at this point, I'm like done taking the photos and everything. And he's like, would you like some help taking these upstairs? Cause I have like three large trash full bags, big black trash bags is full of dolls that I crochet and I got two hands. So I ex gladly accept the help. He, um, he proceeds to help me and he, help me take one of those bags upstairs or two I don't really remember how many it doesn't really matter and as we're walking back into the building he mentions oh yes like I would love to buy one of these dolls and when I give it to my niece I'm gonna tell her like oh my gosh yes your new auntie got these out made these dolls for you and I like laugh and say I don't know about all that like the whole auntie situation because at this point I'm thinking that either He's trying to do the whole 
to, I feel like it's like, maybe he's trying to manipulate me by trying to use his niece as a way to get closer to me and not be honest about his true intentions, but I'm giving him a bit, a bit of a doubt. So I go upstairs and go inside of my house. He helps me get it onto my door. Okay, everything's peachy clean and everything. So I basically, um, I say thank you for, um, helping me and everything and I tell him what my name is and he tells me and this isn't a text message so at this point we're texting I say um he says such a lovely name I say thank you he says anytime my queen and one more thing promised me that we will see a lot of each other so I'm thinking I respond with I don't know if my boyfriend agrees will agree he responds with, you just crushed my whole world with that. So my first thought is, for starters, you said you were wanting to buy a doll for me from my niece. So at this point, I'm just thinking, okay, yes, this is clearly a manipulation tactic. He's not going to buy a doll for his niece. He's using this as a crutch to try to get closer to me, which is very cowardice and rude. But also, I thought to myself, how is it that I even have the power to crush your whole world when I've never really made any inklings that I was interested in you in that way? And also, we've known each other for less than an hour. I shouldn't even have that power, sir. <laughs> so, after that, um, he sends me that at about 10, 15. So, I say, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were connecting for the dolls for your niece and that's why I gave him my number and I didn't hear anything from him after that I kind of figured okay well he's um he's just gonna deal with the rejection or whatnot so you know he figured out his tactic that didn't work okay great things are whatever I just go on with my life and about a week later he texts me again and says I'm sorry my phone has been down for over a week and I'm just getting it fixed I remember you, pretty lady, who broke my heart when she says she has a boyfriend, but I'll get some just so I can get a glimpse of you. I respond with, oh, I'm glad your phone has been fixed, which is generally true. Like, I'm like, well, you know, not having a phone is, like, kind of crummy. So I think, like, oh, I'm, I totally ignore the whole you broke my heart situation because here, I'm not here for your manipulation tactics, sir. And he responds with, are you or are you just saying that? And I don't respond to him because I'm at this point I'm thinking, okay, he's clearly trying to guilt trip me into God knows what. Like first he projected this whole thing where I was gonna be his girlfriend, his wife, his whatever he imagined what I was gonna be within an hour of meeting me, he projected that I was gonna be his everything. And when I say I have a boyfriend, he is crushed, but he's not crushed in a, okay, I'm happy for you, enjoy your life kind of way. He's crushed in a, I'm a guilt trip you and I'm still going to get wherever I can get. I'm going to see you whenever I can. I'm going to get this doll so I can basically have an excuse to interact with you, mistaken individual. And I woke up and wrote, read that message and I thought, I do genuinely think that it's a good thing that, you know, your phone was fixed, but then something, a light bulb hit, and I said, he's manipulating you. Don't respond to that negativity. So I didn't. But that is my and really weird situation. And editing me and sir, I just want to say that even though with all this weird stuff that, that was going on while I was taking these pictures, that I actually did wind up selling one of them to another person who was just walking by, which I was like, great, because um, I'm super poor and broke, and I'm gonna need that bus fare. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah, that was pretty nice. Please, if you find this video like somewhat mildly entertaining, which I don't know who the heck would, but if you do, please give me a like, a comment or um, a subscribe that would be nice I promise that I will upload videos when I have something to say so that could be next week that could be next month because your girl 
is super inconsistent. But I'll try not to let like a whole few years go by at least. Okay, thanks.